No, I'm just saying, uh, bubble gum is, I've just never seen anyone over the age of nine order that before. It's a universal worst flavor of ice cream. Well, maybe I like an underdog. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I thought we said that was on the table. I said I might want to have sex with you. I didn't say I wanted to hold your hand. Oh, okay. Oh. But wait, hold, what, why? Yes, we, we did, we came together in a time of loneliness and, and addiction. But what if, what if that inner darkness actually turned out to be something kind of wonderful? You've watched too many rom-coms, Kevin. I think you're scared. I... There's no reality to a relationship working with us. Your kids are in LA, my kid is in Pennsylvania. I, I know that, but look, you and I obviously have a connection. It's a false equivalency, Kevin. Your inner darkness <clears throat> is not the same as mine. Have you noticed that when you text at three in the morning, I'm always awake? Our darknesses are not the same. You are chasing the wrong blonde in the wrong city. And if you want that rom-com love story, you should go make things right with her. I'm not even sure I know which blonde you're talking about, to be honest with you. <laughs> you see how that's a problem? Yeah. Oh, Kevin, you've been blowing up women's lives for the better part of two decades. I know oh. you mean, oh, come on, I know you mean well, I do. But, you know, you are like a big, handsome wrecking ball. I'm not blowing people's lives up. You okay, know. all right. You married one and then cheated and then nearly married her again. The current one, you couldn't say I love you but now you're obsessed with hating the new boyfriend. You know, you're, be careful, you're gonna blow that up too. I'm too messed up already. Leave me in peace. <laughs>